do another ride along with goggles and um, here we are in our Atlas Van Lines moving van K100 with the drum add-on to put that box on the chassis and the Kentucky trailers I think it is uh, Atlas Van Lines trailer I'll put a link in the description and um, it comes with the paint job and gee I'm, I don't know if I put this I wonder if I put this paint job on steam or not. Jeez, if I haven't, I better get after it. Uh, I'll check after I do the video. If I haven't, I'll put it up there. Um, yeah, so we are in Tyler, Texas. And we're just heading down to Schulenburg. And we're delivering at a, a home down there. And this is... Uh, um, oh... <laughs> A recon lobster thing where we get to do a delivery at an actual home uh, which is kind of cool so he's got I think three deliveries no maybe four uh, maybe three I can't remember I've done three anyway so um, and check this out we got the old 8v92 just love the way that thing sparks the life didn't much care for them in real life but they're fun in the game <laughs> kind of like a moped uh, okay, I'll leave that alone. Okay, let's see. Brakes. Lights are on. And yeah, we're good to go. Let's see if that drop axle stayed up. Yeah, it's up. We don't have very much weight on, so we definitely don't need the, the axle. Now, I don't know what's going on with the uh, I see uh, Scott Sven has been having problems with the double trailers and stuff and now all of a sudden I am too so I think it depends on the trailer but uh, my doubles and triples everywhere isn't really working right now either although I did do a trip with the B double uh, yesterday uh, yeah on Sunday's video that's a little weird. So for anybody who's new to the channel, uh, or, or you didn't know, this uh, 8V92 Go straight. is a two-stroke. Any of the uh, Detroit engines that go with the, uh, you know, they have them, boy, all manner of uh, configurations in the 71 cubic inch per hole series. But this is a 92. 92 cubic inches per cylinder and it's an 8V meaning a V8 and it's 92 cubes per cylinder so you can 8 times 92 and get the displacement of the engine uh, and it comes in a 6V92 I don't think it comes in a 12 I think it's just a 6 and an 8 but the 7 comes in all kinds like I think you can read down to a very rare one cylinder. I know the ferry across the river when I was a kid was a three cylinder Detroit. And I worked on the oil rigs on the six cylinder ones, the six uh seventy ones, inline sixes. It sounds like you're kicking the rods out of it, I know. We're only going 15, just under 1,500 RPM. Go straight. But it's because it's a two-stroke. It sounds so busy. And of course it is. 
It's firing twice as often as a four stroke, so. Okay, so I did a bunch of changes in the, uh, there's one thing I forgot to change, but I, I'll go back and get it, uh, on the uh, AI traffic mod. Let's see if we see some triaxle trailers on the Mulligans in Southwest Motor Transport, and if Flatbed Brothers is going to be uh, a spread axle curtain side, and I think... Uh, the other one, Black Swan, I think should be a triaxle trailer. After 50 yards See there, that right, I made it a spread side. Uh, a spread axle curtain side. <laughs> spread side. Dropped out about three words there. Yeah, so let's just kind of see what happens. Anything around us here to look at? No, not really. There's something way back there. Oh, uh, it's not one of ours. And I added the uh, Kenworth K100, and I put it, um, made it more exclusive. So I put it at, instead of 0 0.5, I put it at 0 0.3. But then I was thinking, darn, I got one of our, our members' names on the door, and maybe he'll be choked that he doesn't get the visibility. <laughs> I don't know. This truck, uh, suspension seems awful soft on it. I wonder where I got that set. And this delivery is urgent, so we got our foot in a little bit. Yeah, I was messing around with uh, doing ghost uh, flames again today because I, I just have it in my mind that I got to be able to do it. And man, it's not going to be easy. Well, okay, so maybe it's going to be easier, and I, I should say that what I wanted to do isn't going to be easy. Because what I wanted to do was fade them. So from the front, they're very, very faint. You can barely see them. And they get a little bit stronger, but still ghost as you get to the tip of the flame. And uh, problem is when I do uh, like an alpha, like reduce the the density of the color, and then I go to 
like I, I take the section of flames and I cut it into sections and then I'll take two and I'll do one very very pa uh, faint and the next one a little bit uh, darker and then try and blend them together because they're open uh, they got the alpha channel thing going there you can always see the seam between them now I tried it with motion blurs with blur and uh, kind of got there but I think the next thing I'm gonna do is just you know quit trying to be so fancy and just do the whole things one end to the other at the same uh, sort of opacity because I want them to be not striking like I don't want them jumping out at you I want you to have to look to see them so but the challenge there <laughs> when you've drawn them and they're that faint they're hard to see <laughs> so it just makes them really uh, a pain in the neck my eyeball, my eyeballs are going all over me after a little while and uh, so then I decided to uh, do something else and I uh, I was uh messing around with uh, doing a uh, North Coast wine skin for the Roland 389 because it's got all kinds of things you can put logos on and you know like your own air freshener the glove box door label and the and I put them all over North Coast here and hanging from there and the steps and everything works great except he's got this little teeny square on the template to put the color sample for the chassis and parts instead of dark red it comes out kind of a washed out faded plum purple it just looks ridiculous and I can't figure out why so so then I said heck with that I gotta do something productive that I can get done and it was the uh, I jumped onto the AI skin thing and uh We'll see. I haven't seen too many trucks just yet in this profile. That may be new in this profile. I may have just put it in here, so it hasn't spawned yet. We we'll have to keep our eye open. A bunch of them I didn't change. Left them alone. So when you use this uh, trailer and you're doing these loads on the uh, ATS expansion map, uh, I should have showed you the icon that we're loading to, but it shows moving a couple views of a moving van, and that's what we're looking for in the job market for your delivery point. I don't know if Recon will ever be able to do it, but. Uh, it doesn't mean he's just so busy. Um, is have a, the household, having a pickup at a household as well. So you're doing a household pickup and drop off because you're moving from one location to another instead of picking up at a business. Uh, we'll have to see where that goes. squeaking at least it did squeak sorry I should say I can yeah I got this I got this thing set pretty soft maybe I got the road bumps turned up but the suspension seemed a little soft too Like you only got 21,000 pounds on it, we're bobbing around quite a bit.
I hope you all had a good, uh, a good, uh, you know, weekend. I guess I missed saying that on uh, yesterday's video, Mondays. That was kind of a cool old throwback trip going on that road up in California over their uh, original version of the Sierra Nevadas. guys on the Discord was mentioning they were watching, it. they had a train mod in, they had the long trains, and they're sitting there watching the train go by, and about the 80th car went by, and there was open doors, and people inside the rail car, <laughs> imagine that. Oh, I got the, uh, definitely got the uh, reduced uh, frequency on the scale mod in here. Sixty miles to go. We're losing track of our lane here. Not hard to do when the pavement gets all washed out like it was back there. Guess I'm going to have to do another uh, trip get some mileage in this profile to get the uh, AI traffic uh, mod all loosened up. Again, just 1500 RPM, and uh, she sounds real busy. Schulenburg, that's where we're going. But Grange is down here. Keep right after 50 yards, exit right. Well, oh, darn, we hardly saw any uh, AI traffic trucks. I saw a bulk feed carrier. Maybe, maybe I think I saw two actually. Oh, there's Lost Aurora Ranch up there. After 100 yards, turn left. I changed the script on that so you can see Harvey's name a little better. Oops, that's a double lane there. Turn left. Uh oh. I was kind of hoping that light would change. Get to hang out at the intersection. See traffic. Oh, we got a green here. Shoot. Oh, it just isn't cooperating. Coming down the ramp. Going up that one. I got on there. Oh, Faraday. Uh oh, <laughs> I can be able to see the track here. Oh, that's cool. The train right there. Shoot, I should have taken a photo. 
to go into photo mode. Hang on. Oh, sorry about that. I, another profile that I haven't used in a long time. They don't have these buttons configured right for jumping in and out with the photo thing. Oh, boy. I think I've said it, what, two, three times now? I need to get after my profiles and get them all up to date. Get rid of some old ones, too. I've got too many. Some that have evolved and into something they weren't before and they like copied and changed so they don't they need to be uh, fixed up. So our drop off's coming up here. One of these homes along here. I don't think it's this one. I think it's set back from the road a bit. Oh that's gonna be it up there. Yeah. than never there, Lori. Yeah, so we got to turn around. Oh, here's this dude strolling along with his wheelbarrow. I think what we're going to do... Well, I wonder if we should try and be good neighbors and not run all over the grass. That's what I did last time. Let's see what's the best way to do this. I guess... How long's that trailer? Not very long. I guess we could... Oh, they got a sea can there, too. Ah, oh, they must have moved in from overseas and brought a bunch of stuff with them on the ship. <laughs> I think I just did this last time. I just went over the grass a little bit. They don't mind. They're happy to see their furniture, furniture arrive finally. They <laughs> quit doing it. What I did when I was uh, young, lived with a bunch of crazy dudes when we, when I was a young machinist up in Edmonton. This was before I went on the rigs as a mechanic. And uh, we had uh, rented a great big house, big four bedroom house in a nice area too, real nice neighborhood. Uh, Sherwood Park, Edmonton, Alberta. Well, no, sorry, not Edmonton, it's outside Edmonton. Might be part of Edmonton now, but anyway, we didn't have any money for furniture, but we sure had a lot of empty beer cases. So, you know, we'd typically save them all up. And you, know, you can imagine a bunch of young guys living together and partying and having friends over. And you collect a lot of beer cases. So we made furniture out of beer cases. <laughs> and we had uh, we had a sofa, love seat, and a chair, all made out of cases with the arms and everything. And there were full cases <laughs> of empties. And then we just put cushions on them and all that. And what was really funny is uh, we were fairly new to the neighborhood. And the uh, welcome wagon lady comes by. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you everything we had in the house. It was eye-opening. But, man, she was a professional and nice. And she came in, and there's all these young guys with this house full of, you know, obviously it's Party Central. And uh, the <laughs> beer case furniture and... Oh, man, it was funny. She never batted an eye. It was really good and welcomed us to the neighborhood, gave us all the lowdown on what was where and who to, uh, you know, what, what stores are available, where your butcher was, where everything was, and welcome to the neighborhood, discounts and brochures from everybody. It was crazy. And uh, I'll never forget that. And uh, what a pro. It was amazing. <laughs> Anyway, we didn't have a big load of furniture coming to our place until we all scratched up and went to the brick and bought a bunch of furniture and cashed in the empties. <laughs> oh, God, to be young again, eh? Let's get these folks their furniture here. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, I think this is... Uh, a pretty cool deal. It'll be fun to see this get expanded somehow. Where, okay, now I was going to show you something important here. Let's uh, go quick. Look at the job market. 
and I'll show you the icon if you're looking. This is uh, in the AT expansion map. So you're looking for, uh, let's see, it's going to be delivery only. You're not going to get a pickup. See here the uh, Atlas van lines? That's, so Steamboat Springs, so that's a pretty short one, Steamboat to Steamboat. But one of these days, I imagine it's going to be from both uh, homes at both ends. There's Casper. Oh, yeah, so Casper. I haven't done that one. I've done, I think, Seattle or Coeur d'Alene. This one here in Steamboat Springs. So I haven't done Castro. Oh, Garden City's added. Okay, so he's, that's up to five now. Oh, I've been busy. Yeah. Coeur d'Alene, there it is. So going to have to uh, check with Recon on the possibility of making it possible to, you know, go from one to the, to the other. Um, so you're picking up at a home and taking to a home. That would be cool, Coeur d'Alene. Anyway, um, fun stuff. Just more things you can do in the uh, ATS expansion map. And uh, thanks to Recon and Driver 47. And I think the wood, Woodward uh, stockyard is ready for a look now. Uh, unless that's in the beta, but i got to check that out too. And I guess we'll get out in the road here and do a cattle haul pretty soon. Uh, but anyway, as always, really appreciate you following along. Take care, guys, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.